Water is a precious and unique life-sustaining resource. Although pure water is essential to living things, less than 1% of the water on Earth is accessible and usable for humans. In order for water to move from a source to a safe, usable form of water for people, it must undergo a journey that eventually leads to our homes. All water goes through a continuous cycle. Radiation is the driving force behind this water or hydrological cycle. When the sun heats the earth's surface, evapotranspiration takes place. This is a process of water heating up and becoming a gas known as water vapor. Vapor is released through transpiration in plants and evaporation from collections of water. Once water vapor, it will ascend to the air where it will begin to cool and condense. Condensation occurs when the vapor cools and returns to a liquid state. This is when clouds form. As more and more water condenses, the water molecules become heavy and begin to precipitate or fall back to earth. This can come in the forms of rain, sleet, hail, and snow depending on the temperature. Once a form of precipitation falls, water collects. It will collect in rivers, lakes, and oceans. It can also collect underground in aquifers and in, as a solid state in ice caps and glaciers. Some water from a designated source, such as a reservoir, will make an extra journey through a series of filters and pipes to enter our homes for personal use. Whether water runs through the pipes of our homes, an underground aquifer, the ocean, or anywhere else, it is on a continuous journey. People use water in many different ways. We depend upon water. Here's a few examples. One way we use water is in construction for making cement, concrete, and bricks. A second way we use water is for farming uses such as crop irrigation and feeding animals. A different way societies use water is for personal uses like hygiene such as taking baths, flushing toilets, cooking, and drinking water. One more way we use water is for cooling water in machines to keep them from overheating. Another way water is used in machines is for cooling down plastic and metal in industry. Water pollution is a big problem. One reason is people throwing trash in oceans and rivers. In some cases, this causes water to get stuck and not go back to the waterworks. And so, the water stays there forever. Some ways are illegal. One illegal way is oil tankers dumping oil in the sea. Sometimes it isn't meant to happen, but oil tankers can still strike land and create huge oil spills. A second illegal thing that is done is factories dumping chemical waste into rivers. Even a natural fertilizer, slurry, a liquid manure, pollutes rivers. When slurry reaches a river through soil, it reduces the oxygen levels in the water and fish die. Pesticides and fertilizers are also big problems to rivers. Some farmers use aircraft to spray pesticide on fields. This is done to kill insects. But when pesticide goes through soil, it of course goes to rivers. When fish breathe through the water, they get sick. Water pollution is a horrible thing and probably the worst type of pollution because we actually drink that water. Well, you know what they say, don't leave the tap running when you brush your teeth. But there's more to it. Don't throw anything into rivers, lakes, and oceans. It sure is not pretty. Some governments should sue people who throw trash in the water. Most people waste water usually several times a day, like when filling up a cup and turning the tap off after removing the cup. You can clean a razor without, with sink water without letting the tap run. If you have a leaking tap, fix it immediately. Leaking taps waste about 8 buckets of water per day.